Hi, you guys. How's everybody doing? Good? Uh, it's not loud enough. Good? Yeah? Anybody nervous? Anyone? I'm nervous. OK. Do most of you guys know each other? Are there a lot of potential new friends here today? OK, this is going to be an awesome day for you guys. And I feel really proud that I got to come and, and be your, your, your opening welcome. So I work for Broadcom. We make semiconductors. Does anybody know what that is? Semiconductor? Anybody have something that looks like this? Come on. Really? An iPhone? Samsung? Android? You can admit it. So we make the chips that go inside stuff like this. Does anybody's parents use like GPS in their car? Anybody get lost? Any of you guys help your parents find where to go? Yeah? So we make all the chips that help people with every kind of technology, including location technologies. So Broadcom has about 12,000 employees, and most of them are engineers. And we do something that's called innovating the impossible. Does anybody imagine what innovating the impossible means? So the things that we're working on are the things that don't exist right now. So we engineer stuff like driverless cars. Has anybody ever seen the Google driverless car? It's pretty crazy, huh? So it takes a lot of engineers to do that. Has anybody seen, and you're going to see a lot of this when you walk around today, different kinds of robotics and artificial intelligence? Yeah, who doesn't like robots? Drones. Has anybody seen people with Google glasses? So we make all those kinds of technologies. And our engineers are literally engineering the impossible, and it's something that we're really proud of. And one of the reasons why I'm excited to meet with you today, and especially girls, is it's all about engineering the impossible. You're going to be the generation of kids that are coming up with things that we've never even thought about before. So the folks from the Computer History Museum asked me if I could talk to you about what I'm passionate about. And what I'm actually most passionate about is women in technology. So at Broadcom, I run something called the Broadcom Women's Network. And we're all about helping women find community and evangelizing STEM and evangelizing engineering. And one of the things that we find really hard is that there aren't enough women in math and science and computer science and computer engineering. Do any of you guys feel like you're outnumbered by boys in any of your classes? Nope. Yo, baby. Yeah? Anybody feel like, oh, you know, anyone has ever said, or you feel like, well, you know, I'm a girl. Maybe I shouldn't be taking math, or math's really hard. Anybody ever hear stuff like that? Because we do. And with our women engineers, sometimes it's literally 10 men to one woman. Does that sound right to you? No. no. I want to hear it louder. No. All right? So we want to work with smart young girls like you to make those numbers be better, to increase the number of empowered young women that are looking for not just careers in math and science and computer engineering, but women that are excited by learning and are excited by these subjects. And I think one of the things that I hope that you guys take away from today, because it's a really fun day, is it's all about collaboration. And one of the things that we really believe in is that by working in groups and working in teams, you really learn so much more. And you can share your experience and learn from other people on your teams. And we really hope that today is an inspiration for you. For me, my other thing that I'm passionate about is communications. So that's my area of expertise. I'm a writer. And one of the things that I've been fortunate enough in my career is that I get to write for some of the people that have invented some amazing technologies. So I was the writer for the guy who invented Java. Does anybody know what Java is? The Java programming language? Yeah. I was the writer for the guy that actually invented the cell phone. It seems Marty Cooper. He's pretty old. I was also the writer for the guy that invented the World Wide Web. His name's Tim Berners-Lee, and you'll read more about him downstairs. So one of the things that I hope that you guys also take away from today, one of the things that separates people that are really great in math and science are people that can communicate about math and science. And for me, communication is so important. So what I hope you guys, I'm going to give you a little assignment. 
When you're done today and your parents pick you up later and they say, how was your day? And usually kids, I have two kids, I have twins that are your age, and I usually say, how was school? And they go, yeah, it was fine. <laughs> yeah, it was good. What I want you to do is when your family says to you later, hey, how was that design code build project? Did you guys have a good day? I want you to tell them all about it and take it as a sign, an assignment to really share what you learned because that's, that's really true excellence. And I hope that you guys just have an absolutely excellent day and it's wonderful to see a room full of so many girls. I know you guys are gonna be hugely successful. Thanks.